So we're doing uh, some shoulders and arms today. Shoulders and arms, how many days out from the Texas Pro? We are, let's see, let's think real quick. <laughs> so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three days. Three days three out. Three days out. This is, this is the big one, people. Yep. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll bring it, bring it. What's going on guys? This is IFBB Pro Jason Abair. Just wrapped up a shoulders and arm session three days out from the Texas Pro. Uh, just wrapped up the Chicago Pro and Tampa Pro and uh, we're on to the last show of the season for me. Um, so before we trained shoulders and arms, I did uh, use um, some pump and focus from Lycan Pro. Um, if you want to try it yourself, my code is ABEAR10 and that's spelled H-E-B-E-R-T-10. Uh, now just to kind of go over what we did with the workout, uh, we started off with some laterals. Um, the way I do them, I kind of like bended the waist just a little bit to where you incorporate a little bit of the rear delt as well and, uh, and mostly the side delt. But um, I feel like I get the most out of it whenever I do it that way. Instead of doing like the, uh, the little tilt thing with your wrist, I'm not like a huge fan of that. Um, and it just kind of feels weird to me. So. Typically, I'll just do a slight bend at the waist and it comes straight out to the side and it just works better for me. And uh, straight into kind of like an in-between raise. So it's not straight out to the front and not straight out to the side like a regular lateral. It's more of in-between. Uh, so uh, that's kind of like the warm-up. We'll do about 10 reps uh, for each one. And then uh, we'll go straight into some rear delt cable flies and some tricep press downs with the rope. Um, now with the cable flies, I uh, do the same thing. I'll do a slight bend at the waist, just kind of lean forward a little bit and really pull back and really try to use uh, just my rear delts. Now, you're going to use a little bit of trap whenever you're pulling back like that, but I mean, it's not it's not the end of the world if that happens. You know, if you get a little bit of trap engagement, that's not the main muscle being worked, but you're still going to work it and it's not going to hurt you. Um, it's not going to take away from your rear delt uh, development. But um, I really like these. It's probably one of my favorite movements for rear delts. Uh, just uh, getting those cable flies and just bringing it straight out to the back. Um, and then I go into actually one of my favorite tricep movements, the tricep rope press down. So basically just keeping those elbows tucked in and getting a really good squeeze at the bottom. And uh, try not to get like too much chest involvement whenever you're, some people like to bend over a little bit to do them. But if you just stay a little bit more upright and just kind of really focus on really squeezing that tricep at the bottom, um, you get the, the most out of it. The uh, next one, we did some seated dumbbell shoulder press. Now with these, I like to put a, uh, a small little dumbbell. Uh, now this isn't like this for, for every bench because uh, some benches have different uh, selector levels for you know the height and everything. But for the one that I use, um, it, it's kind of like an in-between angle that I like. So I'll put a dumbbell like right behind it and it gives like that perfect angle for uh, shoulder press. Um, and uh, those are just uh, just regular shoulder press. I started out uh, relatively light. We did uh, 80 pound dumbbells and then uh, moved up to the hundreds and then to the one tens uh, just to kind of finish it off. Um, after that, went straight into some inclined upright rows. And I like doing those uh, because you it, the bench behind you takes the momentum out of it. So like whenever you're rowing up like this, when you're standing, you can kind of like rock back a little bit and use a little bit of momentum without even realizing it. And that bench just takes all of the, um, the momentum out of it. So you're just using those delts to, to really pull that, that cable up. As soon as we get done with that, we did some uh, front double uh, cable curls. That's what I call them. Uh, people call them Hercules curls or, or double cable curls, whichever ones you want to call it. But it's basically simulating a front double bicep pose. And I figure, you know, why not practice posing while you're training? You get the most out of what you're doing. 
but um, yeah, you just uh, just get a really good stretch to the bottom and then go up into a pose like you're doing a front double bicep with the cables. And um, so we went back and forth between those two. And then right after that, went into a superset of, um, it's basically like a, like a tricep press machine. But the way I do them, like I'm standing up and I don't have my elbows on the pad. So I'm kind of up like this, keeping the upper arm parallel to the ground. And you're basically just like pushing down like that instead of like instead of pushing forward you're almost like uh, trying to press the thing down and so you're getting a really good squeeze at the bottom and keeping that upper arm parallel to the ground uh, so you're getting a really good stretch at the back uh, as soon as we got done with those went over to the preacher curl got some really hard squeezes with the preacher curl um, nothing too fancy with that just hard squeezes nice controlled on the way down and um, now with the uh, the tricep presses you're also going to engage some of your core as well just because you are standing up and there's no brace or anything so you get you know uh two birds with one stone basically um get a little bit of core work which i don't ever really train abs directly and so a lot of my movements i do in corporate um keeping my my core really tight while i'm doing the movement and that's pretty much all i need to keep my abs developed um, whether it be like squats deadlifts um, anything like that um, or tricep presses. This is one of my, uh, my favorite ab exercises, <laughs> tricep presses. <laughs> right after that, we went up we went to uh, finish off with, I don't really have a proper name for them, but it's something that I kind of made up, I would say probably about six or seven years ago. And um, I really like them for like a finisher for shoulders. Uh, you could even do them in the beginning for a warm up, but um, I guess you could call them uh, American bully fly raises. I mean, kind of, kind of sounds weird, but whatever you want to call them, uh, you're basically just uh, bent over at the waist. And you're doing a rear delt fly, and then bringing it up to the front, back out to the side, and then back down. Um, you won't have to use a whole lot of weight for those, just because it's um, usually at the end of the, the training, and you're already fatigued already. But they just feel really heavy whenever you bring them to the front because you're just using that little front delt just to kind of just to kind of raise that dumbbell up and keep it controlled. But um, we do those, so like straight up to the side, straight up to the front, back out to the back, and then back down. That's one rep. And usually try to shoot for around like 10, 10 to 15 reps in between there. Uh, like I said before, with all my other training, I don't really have like set numbers for my rep scheme, but, um, but I just try to find a weight that I can kind of hit that, that area. But, uh, but yeah, that wraps it up for shoulders and arms. And um, yeah, so on to the next show, the Texas Pro in three days. So we're gonna bring it and uh, hopefully it'll be a fun time. Mm -hmm.